First, though, a toddler found wandering alone. The boy's parents arrested. Our cameras were there as police led the mom and dad out in handcuffs. Good evening, everyone. This is News 6 at 5, getting results. I'm Ginger Gadsden in for Lisa Bell. Glad to have you with us tonight. I'm Matt Austin. It took hours for Melbourne police to find those parents this morning. News 6 reporter James Barbero is live at Shoal Manor Apartments near University Boulevard. James, do police have any idea how the boy got outside? They have a troubling a troubling picture, Matt, of what they think happened. Try to imagine, folks, with me if you can. I'll point to the second floor apartment at this unit right here at the Shell Manor Apartments. Police saying a mother inside passed out. She's high on drugs. A child wandering out the door, making its way down this steep concrete staircase, and then from there, wandering the neighborhood. The house was filthy. They found mom. Mom was unresponsive. The troubling details only beginning there. Melbourne police saying they discovered a wandering two-year-old at the Shaw Manor Apartments. The boy noticeably uncomfortable because he was barefoot and badly needed changing. The diaper was filthy. Police say the two-year-old pointed officers in the direction of his home and the boy was then safely reunited with his parents after an hour or so of being outside by himself. It would not be a happy reunion for long though. Police say mom was passed out, apparently on drugs, and she and the boy's dad were raising the two-year-old in filth. House was not being taken care of. There was indications of drug use, as well as just general filth and dismay was inside the house. Around 11.30, police arrested the two-year-old's parents. And then shortly after noon, neighbors spotted the toddler being taken away through the backyard by child services. Police say the toddler and his siblings were given to their grandmother. It is refreshing to see that we have built a relationship with the community, that they called us so quick, and we were able to bring this to a successful conclusion, and the child was not injured or harmed in any way. Both parents are charged with a count of felony child neglect. Matt Ginger, we expect the parents to appear before a judge tomorrow. Live in Melbourne, I'm James Sparvero, News 6. Could have been a lot.